Hi everybody, today we're gonna do a new video. We're gonna test out some rain, we're gonna do some races in the new special events update in SR8. Here's uh, the Lamborghini Reventon Roadster. I already finished the first stage, but this one is the most fun because all the others are really uh, not good. <laughs> For me at least. Uh, should I use boosters? I mean, won't hurt. You don't have that much. I have only a bit of boosters. We're gonna use some of triple boosters. done races as you can see because I finished the stage you can get good rewards but the car it has a really bad hand really bad hand unlike all other cars in this class it's really bad hand and drifting yeah. acceleration meh speed is good because all the core signal now yeah, this is the same speed. Yeah. Look at that! Yeah, that's what I mean. It's really hard to control. I literally have to drift in these small corners. But in some other core you will just turn. This is not a, a really good Because I have all the and I'm not trying my best. Because if I did it, like, it's really hard. Look at that bad head. Maybe because I don't know how to drive that really fast. Well, I had experience, but yeah. This one specifically has really bad news. And I'm gonna mess up. You see, you really don't know how to control. It's either me or the car. Because you see other people doing it, they do it really fluently. It's more of an experience thing. Depending on your experience with driving kind of mediocre handling cars and really fast speed. I need a good car. Did you ride a good, good handling car? Did you ride it good? I just drank some H2O, some water. I should give it another run. I don't know if we should do some events or not. There are a lot of events due to this special event. I'm pretty sure they just straight ripped this out of Asphalt 9. Because Asphalt 9 has been always having this stage special event that they give you to try out cars. That they give you to try cars and buy them. Although in Asphalt 9, Nine, it's much easier than this. Because in Asphalt 9, they let you use the cars without buying them. In Asphalt 8, you have to buy the cars. That's why you spent like 300,000 credits on this event that I'm not really going to do. Because uh, you need to upgrade your car to claim the cars. Because it, is, it needs a required ramp. So even if you do those things, if you're not in the required room, you're just doing it for nothing. Some challenges, ah. some challenges require a fully upgraded car. And by the way, they give you the Revitim for use for free, completely upgraded. Specifically, right now, nobody can get it. Nobody. You have to do the event. If I don't get first place, uh, 
I'm gonna. I don't know. Make four. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I got. This one. I'm not gonna do what I. Not really a first place, but not really a good first place because I was battling it out with an AI. But I guess they're not direct like twice. Maybe not twice, but yeah, yeah I did think it was. You see, they give you like these missions to do, and they give you this like conditions. And this condition symbol actually makes me remember R and D's. They give you like these missions, and you have to do them and get rewards. You can have a lot of them, retry them. You see, they recommend rank 1090, rank 1100, 1150, 1200, 1200. You see how it's in red? Now, if you don't have that rank, I'm not gonna be able to do it. Because I tried. And they also remastered Venice. Or should I do Venice or not? I mean, pretty good. Every day future. I never actually got to test that car. Ah. Crap. Now we're gonna need jewel. This one is already been done, but they're still validating. I don't know why, because they know my removal. That's it. I don't know. Let's do one more race in the with the Earth because the Earth is really slow. Nah, let's do the event. So good idea. Yeah, the Lamborghini Duo Cup. No, why are these cups so really long? Like 12 days? Are you serious? No, this one is high rent, but this one is better handling overall. And that point for difference is it really that good? I'm going on both. Should I do them both? You really never tried this course. So, uh, uh, Venina. Venina is really good. Not really, I mean... Depending on... Your opponents. A lot of chairs squeaking because I'm literally bumping into it. I don't know why, but always they have a Sunday you go harbor as a military because you can't see the city. You can see the city right here, it's right there, but you can't see my cursor. This is a problem. You can't see my cursor. <laughs> Or if you do, I don't know. So don't know if I that. Look at that smooth turn. Is it really going that slow? I just lose it now. Using a tuning kick. I'm not using a tuning kit, so you can't expect that. I don't also record it, so and it's lagging. It only takes a lot of CPU. Now, I'm pretty sure I watched my own videos, and I've seen the fact that the space 
car noise. Really though. Sounds like gunshots. <laughs> yeah, that was really quick. Really, really quick. That didn't feel like a minute. So let's show the other car. Where is the most of my videos are just like on the spot. They're not scripted at all. I don't do any planning. I'm just like, oh, let's do a video. And whatever I get is what I get. I don't do retakes. I only do retakes if there's a problem in my OBS. Let's do one more race with the other one. The spot has some benefits and some downsides. The benefits is, of course, you're doing it on the spot, so you're saving time because you're not writing the script, and it's also less boring. But the problem is, it's not scripted, so you're not limited. So you didn't think about what you're doing. And why is the AI ranked 600? I guess because most events are not AI based. Most events are like time. And they just put their AI just to make the world the worst place. Sometimes they multiplay or something or act like that. But this is supposed to be the best. The handling, this is not the same handling as the American, and both Lamborghinis are not expected without the reaction. Really annoy space. Why oh, it's a part of the game? Triple tap is an entire game. The entire game is mostly about cars or whatever and retro management. And retro management probably comes in first because if you you have a worse car. But you know how to manage your nitro like a pro, but the others doesn't. But the other don't doesn't know how to manage your nitro. And they have a bad car. You're gonna succeed because the perfect nitro on straights and sh and triple tap on really short. But that's gonna be it, guys. For today for this video, I really don't upload that much. But I'm looking forward to pumping more videos in summertime, summer break. But that's it today, guys, for this video. And subscribe, like, don't forget to hit the bell, subscribe, and like. And see you later.